All right, fantastic bantamweight matchup here. Both these guys are such high-level prospects. Cannot wait to see it. Nayem Hock, blue corner, black shorts. Shabazz Ahmed, red corner, red and black trunks. Here we go, already off to a high-paced start. Both men are going to want to get their lead hands going. Look out for the kicking game of Ahmed, though. Yeah, they've just traded one back and forth there. Interesting to see some of that. There's a, a, a couple combinations thrown here back and forth. Nothing quite landing, more of the leg kicks. There's a nice left hand from Nayim there. So far, Hawk with the pressure, managed to push Ahmed back behind that inner black octagon there as well. Trying the to throw the shots. Track. Nice head movement on the entry, came in with the left hook. The speed of both these guys, man, like they operate a little faster than normal human beings in here. So but they both operate at the same speed, so I don't know what that would oh. feel like. Ahmed with the takedown already, trying to run the pipe on the single leg. Good balance from Hock, then hit the fence there as well. Trying to get the hands locked behind him, but good defense. Addressing the grip is Hock. Yeah, let's see if he can hoist him up here. He can had the hands together. Grabbing his own wrist, I believe, at the moment now is Ahmad. Yeah, trying to just hang on the back of that leg. Sometimes people hook and cross that over. We've seen that a couple of times. Well done. Ref just addressing the, the grips here, making sure no one's grabbing onto gloves and stuff like that. Three minutes to work in each of these rounds here, so really they've got to get off to a, a fast start. And if you're going to be grappling, you've got to make a count. Yeah, the balance from Hawk is insane here. The way he, um, Ahmed was straddling his knee, or his leg behind the knee of Hawk, trying to trip him over, but. Only momentarily able to find success. Hawk just springing right back up every time he pulled on that. And the difference, though, is Ahmad, Ahmed is making him wear his weight. Yeah, someone's going to come out on top in this position. It feels like either Hawk's going to land on top or Ahmed is. But there we go, body triangle now. Right oh. arm under the neck. It might not be all the way in, but he's still trying to grip fight. We talked about Ahmed's well-rounded game before he came in here. And Hawk really trying to wrestle right now. He's peeled the top right hand, though. He's OK. Yeah, he's got one of the wrists. He's going to have to give up the knees. There we go. Just too much weight. And look at Ahmed. Stay in control. Roll through. Stretch him out. And he still has a minute to work. Yeah, it's great defense from Hawk there. He just isolated one of the arms and put his own arm on top of it. But nonetheless, it is defense. It's Ahmed that is bringing everything to Hawk. What can Hawk do to try to get out of this situation? He's really trying to dig that forearm underneath the chin, not able to do so. Great defense again from Hawk, but what can he do to get out of it? What can he do to change the situation? Yeah, it's difficult. That, that body triangle is always going to be a problem, and it's very hard to break. You know, you got to get that right leg on the inside of that crossover leg, kick it out so you can create yourself a bit of an angle and then start to turn and work your way in. But it's hard to do when you're dressing the hands because a choke's coming. And now Ahmed wisely switching to some ground and pound just to definitively put away this round, bank it in there. And I think he's done a good job with that backpack and now transitioning to the ground game. Yeah, absolutely. Ends the round. Nice, easy, solid win there for Ahmed. Extremely, extremely smothering game plan. He immediately went for it. He almost had the neck at one point. He had some really, really great moments there. Outstanding defense from Hawk, but again, it's just defense. He needs to find his offense in round two. Both men in the corners now, composed, calm, and both guys, man, so talented, so well-rounded already at this stage in their careers. There's Ahmed trying to level change, but on, after this, he does commit to the takedown, ended up in the body lock position, eventually was able to rotate all the way to the back, and here we'll see the left leg fire up as he clamps it across, goes straight into the body triangle with no hooks oh. on the back, and that was almost a flawless sequence into a finish. Yeah, really, really great work from Hawk to survive there. Very difficult positions that he was put in. But now he gets a fresh start. They start back standing. Can we see a bit more of him being the aggressor on the grounds? Will it take place on the feet a little bit more? Interesting stakes here. Going I mean, I'm happy, to see, I'm happy to see these guys fight anywhere because yeah. they're so good. You know, if they fight on the feet, they fight on the mat. It don't matter to me. It's going to be fast paced wherever it goes. Here we go. Second round, three more minutes oh. on the clock. Lovely lead high kick there. Try to set it up with a bit of a level change fake, but Hawk saw it coming. I'm trying to jab to the body. That to disguise oh. that. One left hand got in there though for Hawk. Gives it up though, doesn't want to underhook. Gonna attack the wizard, try and base out, get some weight down on Ahmed. Yeah, we're back to this same challenging kind of scenario of the first round. Ahmed was able to get through it, get that takedown. Can I am? It looks like he might go for a ride here. Trying to lift him up as possible. There oh. we go. Thought about kicking it out. Almost felt like Hawk tried to go for a submission. Yeah. 
in midair. Maybe he just felt he was going to hit the ground anyway. Ahmed stays glued to oh, him here, though. That. I mean, look at that. the backpack game of Ahmed is on display here tonight. And Hawk just neutralized in these positions. You know, he doesn't get to do anything. Yeah, just instantly jumped up on top of his back. Just so, so quick. And now we're back to what round one was. I mean, this is mirroring in a lot of ways. Can Hawk do anything to change that? He's trying to shut him oh, off. Oh, so close. Held on, held on. I mean, he was trying to address that body lock. You know, we talked about how difficult it is to get clear of that. And just as he thought he could peel the leg, Ahmed stays glued to the back. Even in these positions, he's got the body lock still. So if Hawk gets up, he's not broken from this. He might just get taken for a ride again. And there we go, straight back to the mat. Wow, yeah, and working for that RNC yet again. And in terms of pace, the person that's wearing all this, it's definitely Hawk. He's the one trying to spring back up. He's the one trying to fight off all these submissions. One minute 30 on the clock now, halfway point of this fight, and Ahmed really has been in control. Hawk just hasn't had a chance to get anything going. And that's just because Ahmed has just stuck to this grappling game plan. Attack the back. Can he finish there, though? This is the important question. Yeah, absolutely. Can he get anything from this position? Hawk's defense has been ironclad. It's been very difficult to get anything by him. But again, he is defending. He is stuck in a position that he's having a hard time getting out of. He might try to push off the cage here. It's hard to hear if those chants are for Nayim or Ahmed. Yes. You know, I think it was Ahmed, but either way, both guys probably have a lot of support in here tonight in what has been a very technical fight for two young amateurs. You know, Nayim's got four fights. Shabazz has got three fights, but both guys looking good. But here we go, Ahmed just in control, crossing the legs over, though, for the, the, the back position. We'll see if <laughs> we see the old school oh. ankle lock right there just to punish that, but I doubt it. It's just temporary. And Hawk doing everything he can, Jason, but, you know, just not able to, to break these backpacks and, and body lock positions. Yeah, and it was immediate. I mean, it was an onslaught from the word go in that second round. And we know that's probably going to happen here in the third. Hawk's got to do everything he can to, to stay away from it. We were kind of talking about this. It might be a game of inches, but one area might just be a little bit better. So far, Ahmed has made his case that he's a little bit better on the ground, at least offensively. We'll see if uh, Hawk can answer that call in the round ahead, the final round up and coming. Yeah, you can only guess what they're saying in the corners right now as well, you know. Ahmed has done well, been patient, breathing heavy, but obviously both guys are, you know. It's been a high work rate. It might not look it, but trying to control and make sure the opponent doesn't slip away, trying to lock out those finishes, it can get quite difficult to do. Yeah, outstanding, outstanding work from Ahmed. He's looked, I mean, it looks like he's learned from the Alex home fight, and he's gone to his bread and butter and yeah. doubled down on it. I mean, you know, sometimes we see these amateurs take those hard fights and they level up. They do just get better out of nowhere, you know? Yeah, every loss is a learning opportunity depending on your own mindset. And it looks like it was for him. Round three, here we go. Hawk coming straight out, wants to take the sensor, cannot get backed up to the fence. Really, that's where all of this grappling starts as soon as he gets his back to that cage. So he has to push forward, and that's probably oh. what the words have been in the corner. Now finally letting their hands go. Yeah, he really needs to. He needs a knockout or a submission. They're pretty, you know, cut and dry rounds. It's a hard case to make for Sammy or oh, Sam. Ahmed goes. being super patient, but knows what he needs to do. Just blitz, crash, and rush. And Hawk's ending up on the fence every single time. This is just, you know, understanding mixed martial arts and how it works. If yeah. I rush you to the fence and you can't stop my takedown, especially at this amateur level, which we do see quite often, these kind of scenarios get played out. And we're looped back here at the third round. Ahmed on the body lock, stretching out that leg and trying to get hot to the mat. It's a very, very hard lesson. Like we were talking about that, every fighter has to go through this. Fight somebody who's this good on the ground. Like, clearly Shabazz is outstanding with his top game and his pressure. He hasn't let Hawk really get anything going. There were a couple shots there at the beginning of the rounds. That's it. If this continues, we could be looking at a clean sweep for Ahmed. Hawk can come away from this, you know, with a clear understanding of, of what he needs to work on. And 
you know it's not necessarily that always just the takedown defense because he's defending takedowns but it's getting off the cage and also not getting backed up in the first place which is hard to do when you've got a guy like Ahmed who's literally just running at you just trying to run you back and it's he's not giving up on these takedowns either you know he might fail five or six times in the midst of you know some of these sequences get a knee down or you know get one uh, one limb a little bit closer to the ground hawk will spring back up but then he'll get it and right now he's trying to maybe work for a he's got the hands defense. Now, though. the hands are finally locked he's now they're broken again ahmed's just trying to get those hands together got them back oh, together again, again now let's see if he can oh, finish there, there we go as soon as those hands come together, nine times out of ten, the takedown's getting finished. And you are right, Hawk was trying to attack that Kimura, which is a good plan, but just not able to get it off. Yeah, and there he was maybe trying to work for a triangle oh. or something. Now oh. he's trying to work for a leg. This is better This is better than we've seen in the other rounds. Yeah, unless he switches to a calf slicer, oh. which he has done now. The knee's out. That's pretty goddamn tight. This could be a Hail Mary submission. We're going to see how painful it is. That right ankle needs to just come up a little bit more. Just tuck it in behind the knee just a little bit more. And now he's kind of giving up on it, but he's using it to change position. Well done for Hot. And now he's still got pressure on it. Now he can use his whole upper body and hips and push his hips into it. It must be incredibly painful yes. for Ahmed. It's kind of hard to tell how much of a biting point is on it. But Make Ahmed is no punching mistake. back That's right now. That's incredibly painful. Whether it's a stop or not, that does not feel good. He's fighting through it, though. He's he's very focused. He's not going to let that in the fight. Wow. There we go. Great fight. Three rounds of action. Lots of grappling. And Ahmed coming out perhaps on top of that one. Looking like a proof version of himself, Jason. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, outstanding work from Hawk all throughout defensively and what he tried to do there at the end. But, you know, it, it, it just, it shouldn't be enough. Coming for everyone, he says. The new me, yes, we saw that improvement. Well Great, fantastic performance. Yeah, there just talking to us at the cage here, talking directly with Alex, the new me. 2 well, he definitely looked like it. He looked like it. He looked outstanding. Yeah, it's just about finding what you're good at, where where people struggle with your game, and also taking advantage of your of your body type. You know, it's, sometimes it's that simple. And those long legs is great with the body lock takedowns, and also getting on top, climbing on guys. Very Charles Oliveira like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well done. His team has to be very happy with that. That was the game plan. He certainly went with it. We know how fast Hawk can be on the outside. How quick his you know his movement is on the feet. I think this is what Ahmed planned for. He said, nope, not even going to have to worry about that. I'm going to take control of this fight. And we'll go and get the official announcement and the judges' scorecard right now. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move to the result, give it up to both men for going the distance. There can be only one winner, and the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner in the red corner, Shabazz Ahmed!